welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trail Makers. And this isn't just any old Trail Makers. This is Trail Makers 1.0, which releases today. We're finally out of early access. We have an entirely new mode in the game, a new campaign mode. We have new blocks. We get new parts. We get new features. We got all kinds of awesome stuff, including an electromagnetic block that they've been teasing on their social media. So I'm super excited to get into this. We have a new landing page here. I'm assuming that this is probably the new map for the uh, campaign mode. So let's hop into single player and we now have stranded in space. You have crash landed on a strange and alien world. Explore the planet to recover salvage and rebuild your spaceship. So let's get into it. What is this? A garbage carrier 3000 keeping the cosmos Okay. Oh yeah, the transform feature is back, so we can actually set up different creations to transform between each other using hotkeys, so that's gonna be really fun. Alright, here we go. Oh, cool, there's a whole, like, intro cinematic and everything. Well, there's the garbage whatever 3000, I already forgot the name. <laughs> Is that us? Is that our spaceship? Oh, oh, that's bad. That's not, that's not healthy. Oh, that looks cool. We gotta get all those pieces, I think. <laughs> that's a lot of pieces. What are those? Oh, that's our pod and then our building area? I don't know. Well, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Here we are. All right, B to enter builder. Let's see what it says. So it looks like it's recommending that we build a bumper car so we could actually activate the auto build feature if we wanted to. So let's just get the basics out of the way. We're gonna go with the auto build for now just to see. We're, we wanna go forward into this campaign until we actually need to start building on our own. All right, get to the launch pad. All right, it's a launch pad, apparently. Is it gonna launch us? Uh, and, and, Dear oh. colleague, oh. if you are hearing this, your cargo vessel has crashed and you have survived. The corporation will dispatch a rescue ship, but require you to leave the atmosphere of your current planet. Fortunately, your cargo can be repurposed as building blocks. Build a functional spacecraft by salvaging the scattered contents of your cargo. Once you have located a piece of cargo, place it underneath a recovery drone to extract the building block it contains. Please note oh, that interesting. all building blocks will be suitable for the spacecraft, but they can be used for local transportation purposes. Good luck. So we're actually going to have to gather and move physical, op <laughs> physical objects around this map. So that's gonna be pretty interesting. So let's, I guess that's why it made a bumper car, power core. Oh, that's cool. Wait, why is it, why is it doing, what is that? Is that like an analysis thing? When I get, oh, that's interesting. You can see like a light beam come out of me, I guess. All right, let's see if we can get this thing into the extractor and see how that looks. All right, so we've unlocked a power core, so that means we can add more engines and stuff. is required for your space ship. 5% complete, so that means what, there's 20 pieces? Teleport to, oh, so recovery drones. Oh, cool, here's our uh, immediate map. We obviously don't have all of it uncovered. So we got some pieces all around here. We've unlocked a power core, so that means, oh, what are these things? So that means that we can add another engine to our vehicle. Oh, the menu colors have been like redesigned and stuff. That's pretty cool. All right, so we landed here. Now we gotta figure out how to get all of these salvage things. Oh, you can actually see what they give you. This gives us a headlamp. This gives us power core, one by two block and more power cores. There's a medium pontoon and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go up in this direction. Here, let me get my orbit camera. Where's my orbit camera? So I think if we go up here, we should be able to get access to another one. Oh, there's another salvage thing over there. So one of these things eventually is gonna give us access to a electromagnet and that is what I'm really looking forward to. Wait, where is the piece? What? Oh no. Oh, oh no. You gotta be kidding. Is that piece really up above me? It's definitely not right here. Oh man. All right. Well, so much for that. I guess I'll try to go up on top of there and try to get piece. What are those things? There's glowy things that I don't think are actual pieces. Oh, and there's a cave over here. 
I just re the, in addition to the pieces, we have an entirely new map to explore. Apparently, there's a lot of different stuff on this map, too. Oh, this it would be good. This, I guess, where's the headlamp? Headlamp is over here. I guess the headlamp would be, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, the headlamp would be good for here. Why don't we try to get the headlamp? That's, that's a new effect, though, that lighting effect. I think it's up this way. I don't know if I can get up here, though. Hey, go, 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 go. All right, we made it. Where is it? Where is headlamp? I just passed headlamp. Oh, there it is, right there. Oh, that's a small piece. Look how small this piece is. Headlamp. Uh oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna get the headlamp back and then we can go explore this cave. There we go, headlamp unlocked. All right, well, these things don't require power cores or anything, so I could put as many as I want on, I think. But let's go with two for now. Let's see how this feels inside the cave. Is there something actually inside the cave? Yeah, it looks like maybe I can go way down there. All right, let's see how much of a difference the headlamps make. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I like this. I like this new feature of like the lighting effects. All right. Oh no, how do we get, how do we get this back? I'm gonna push it into the water. All right, hold on, hold on. Do I actually have mechanical parts? I have a steering hinge. I think I can work with a steering hinge. Okay, so we're gonna use the steering hinge to create some grabbers so we can grab this thing and hopefully, what happens if I push it into the water? Do I just lose it? Oh man, this is, I'm nervous now. All right, let's see if this is going to work. Oh, it's too front heavy. What if I press space? Like that's, that actually, that seems like it might, it could possibly work. This seems to help a little bit. Oh man, oh, this is, I'm not comfortable with this. Oh, it, it is very floaty. Uh, okay, don't, don't push it off. And, oh, oh no, I forgot to put it on toggle. It's okay, I just gotta hold it. <gasps> back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, we're good. We're all good. This is fine. <laughs> I was so scared there. I really thought I was gonna push it off. I really don't know what would happen though. Would it be stuck in the water and I have to make a water vehicle later on to get it? Or would it teleport back up? I don't know what it, what would happen. And I don't want to find out. I do not want to find out. <laughs> All right, I kind of like what I made now. This makes it a lot easier to uh, retrieve these things. So I'm going to keep what I have. Okay, so there's that. Now we can go, uh... oh, there's two of them back here. Oh, hello, little chicken. Hello, little chick. Oh, oh, I get coins. <laughs> <laughs> I get coins for killing the chickens. Okay, easy money. All right. Oh, this is a big one. I'm just now realizing that there, there's a lot of different sizes to this. And I think there's one on top of that pillar too that's a power core. So I guess I'll just have to push this one. And oh, it, it's going to roll a lot. Eh, there's one. There's a thing over there and there's a thing over there. I think this one might be easier to go to, so I'm just gonna let it roll down. There we go. All right, medium pontoon unlocked. That means that's one step closer to water. Uh, large hinge. All right, I can just grab this one. Oh, I did terrible this time. There we go. <laughs> All right, two more pieces unlocked. And is that another one on that island over there? I think it is. Here, let's go over there real quick. I hope it's a power core. I really want more power cores. Yep, there's another one. Oh, this one's a square one and it's an underwater propeller. Okay, I need to modify this now. Yeah, I know that I understand that. So I need to make this a little bit wider. So I'm gonna move these out. Oh, oh, it's just literally barely enough. I don't think I have enough power for it though. Oh, okay. Okay, this works. Oh, 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 no, it doesn't. Hold on, I, I could do this. Oh, no, I can't turn. Oh, oh, don't go in the water. I need you. I need you so I can go in the water. If I dropped an underwater repeller in the water, would I be done? <laughs> okay, here we go. This works. I can do it. I can deal with this. Ah, there we go. So we now have the ability to create water-based vehicles. Oh, and now we can do the transformations. All right, so it's given us the blueprint for this amphibious vehicle, and now we can assign them to transformation. So this is one, and I put this on two. So let's see how this works now. So now if I hold Alt and press two, oh man, look at that. Look at that. And this has got the wheels and then the propeller underneath. So should I, I don't know if I want to go in the water yet. I got to do all this stuff first. I'm going to get these things first, and then we'll do the water. Oh, that was an awesome transformation. Oh, wait a minute. 
I'm just, I think I'm just noticing how this works. I think it actually repurposes everything on the vehicle and discards everything you don't use. So if you notice, this has a lot of pieces on it. And when I, when I transform back into the original car, look at all of the stuff that goes back down. But you don't see any wheels being discarded. And then when I transform back into the one that has a lot of pieces, you can see only the only thing that gets discarded is a couple of steering hinges. Because this thing just has a single steering hinge. It's got the big steering hinge right there. So it doesn't use those two steering hinges. It uses every single other piece. So that's actually amazing. Theoretically then, if you build two vehicles using the exact same parts, but different shapes, and you did the transform, you would see every part get repurposed. That is awesome. All right, well, I see something else over here, but that's not on the map. What is that? Is this gold? Is this like a gold nugget that's gonna give us coins? It is, 100 coins, awesome. We're gonna go across this land bridge and hopefully I can find some of these pieces. Oh, uh-oh. I, wait, that thing's carrying gold, isn't it? Is that, is it hostile though? Is it gonna hurt me? Can I die? Hey, what? Okay, um. Uh, I don't have cannons or anything yet. I don't think I can, I don't know if I can hurt it. Ooh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna chase it. I don't know what this is gonna result in, but I, maybe if I touch it, what? Here, let me go to this vehicle. This vehicle's got a little bit more height. Oh no, you're gonna, oh, you serious, are you serious right now? All right, you win this time. You win this time. So that's a cool new thing in the game. All right, there should be a piece up here. Oh, it's on top of a rock. Can I just like, nope. Rebuild your vehicle. All right, ooh, it's a piston. Pistons are actually gonna be really useful. So, you know, I'm just gonna do a temporary addition here. There we go, this should be good. There we go, perfect. And then I'll just delete these blocks because I don't really need those anymore. All right, and now we have a piston to bring back and some gold to get over here apparently too. Oh, oh, and there's another one over here that I can push off as well. Let's do two birds with one stone or two salvages with one vehicle. Oh, this one's actually a little bit more sketchy. The build mode, it feels so much smoother. Like, it feels really smooth for some reason. I don't know why it feels smoother. I it just I could just feel it. All right, is this good enough? Yeah, there we go. All right, and you can go bye-bye. All right, I'm taking you with me. Woo! This is a bad idea. <laughs> Whoa! I did not expect to survive that, actually. All right, well, I'll take these back one at a time. There we go. We got ourselves a piston. That's going to be handy for some more mechanical uh, control. And then, which one is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, another power core. That means another engine. That means more speed. 11% complete. Okay, hold on a second. I'm suddenly skeptical of this block right here. I didn't see it up there. What if it's underneath? Because this is just a 1x2 block, and there's no reason why a 1x2 block should be way up there and require a flying vehicle. Here we are. I was, I was, I knew there was something sketchy about that. All right, so let's go ahead and switch to this vehicle and we can go ahead and grab this one by two blocks gonna be super useful oh well that's not super useful Whoa. <laughs> all right there we go one by two block now we have a lot more freedom of building all right it looks like we got a weight block up here Ooh, let's see if i can get some chickens on the way and wait what how is that not a hit how is that not a hit and there we go oh a wedge block nice i thought it said weight block wait i missed the weight block where's the weight block Maybe the weight block is up. Maybe, I don't know. I, maybe I missed something. I don't know. But a wedge block is useful too. So let's just pop this thing down here. Guide it back. Oh, I actually picked it up. I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> All right, this vehicle ain't half bad. All right, wedge block achieved. Now, where was this? At the, where is this block? Weight block. Is there another cave? There might be another cave that goes underneath. Uh, I'm gonna go down here. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a cave. That is definitely a cave underneath me. There we go. But how am I supposed to- oh, I can take this all the way over there. All right, good. We got this. We got this. I love the hidden caves. Oh, they're so ominous, too. All right, and this one's a nice, easy one to pick up. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where does this go? I want to go in this direction. This another way in? 
All right, another way into the cave. Uh oh, this thing's actually messing me up. Hold on. All right, and I think this is the last one that we really have access to because I got to be able to fly to get the one up there, I think. So now we officially have to go into water mode. With this template vehicle it gives us, I have one power core left, and then how many power cores does one of these things use? One, okay, so that means I can add more water speed. And you know what, I'm just gonna color the whole thing red because this is Scrapman's channel. Red and black, there we go. So by the looks of it, a good place for me to go is over there, because there's a spawn point. But what do we have over here? Is that a thing? Do they float? I hope they float. If they don't float, that's going to be very, very bad for us. But let's see what these things do. We don't even have the diving bell, so we can't go underwater. They're probably not going to float. Those are definitely some pieces. What are they? Wedge corner and power core. I would really like some of those, but man, look at the underwater. It looks like it's going to be amazing. Yep, yeah, there's some things underwater for sure, but we cannot explore underwater quite yet. There's like an underwater cave and everything. Oh man, that's gonna be so fun to explore. But first things first, let's get over here, get a new spawn point, and hopefully some more uh, access to parts. By the way, look at the water effects. Those are new. Those water effects are new. All right, new spawn point activated. Let's go ahead and switch back into one of our normal vehicles, our quicker ones, and we gotta jump this gap. We gotta get up there in the first place. How do we get up there? Oh, there's a bunch on this island. Wait, 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 Magnet Island? What is, is this Magnet Island? Oh, it's an electromagnet. Oh, it's an electromagnet. We need that. We need the electromagnet so bad. Okay, all right, you know what? I'm going full speed at it. Full, oh, that's not full speed. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I need to get this electromagnet. Uh, go, go, go! Oh, no, no, go, 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 go! Yes! Yes! I don't care that I destroyed half my vehicle. Oh, this is it. This is the piece we've been waiting for. This is gonna add so much more to this game. All right, electromagnet unlocked. I cannot wait to see how this thing works. Attracts metal, metal objects, only attracts when active. All right, so now we have an electromagnet, and I think this applies to the salvageable scrap, which means this stuff floating out in the ocean is no longer a risk because we can use the electromagnet, the electromagnet to keep it attached to us rather than worrying about carrying it and letting it fall. All right, I cannot wait to see this thing in action. Here we go. There's a piece of salvageable scrap right up here. All right, what's the distance on it, do you think? I'm just going to activate it here. All right, tail fin, okay. All right, it looks like that cone is pretty much its uh, effective range. Oh boy, oh, this is making me do weird things. All right, what if I just release? All right, yeah, check that out, that's awesome. That is awesome, this is amazing. All right, tail fin unlocked, there's one more on this island up over there. We got another power core, which is good, we can give ourselves some more engines. So this, the electromagnetic is gonna just save us here. Oh, no, 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 oh, thank you, oh, thank you, thank you so much, okay, I'm, I'm falling, I'm falling, can I, I don't think I can recover from this, okay, we're done, <laughs> come on, come on, there we go, all right, so it does seem like the electromagnet is most effective once it gets in direct contact, there's a really, there's really not a huge amount of strength before it gets into direct contact. But once it gets into direct contact, it's like solid. All right, the vehicles are feeling so much better. Like the strength of the um, of the vehicles themselves, I feel like they can handle a lot more realistic damage now. So that's good. So now what I really want to do, let's put the electromagnet to a real test. We're going to spawn in our water vehicle. We're going to add the electromagnet right onto the top of it. And now we're going to see if we can actually salvage some of this scrap out in the ocean. All right, electromagnet is active. Hopefully this thing isn't going to be too heavy for me. Power core. There we go. Perfect. So let's go ahead and bring this power core back. This is going to make it better and add more engines. There we go. Power core unlocked. This power core is required for your spaceship. Oh, that's not... Oh, oh, this is not how this is supposed to work. Okay, why isn't it... It doesn't seem to be... Very, am I in, am I, is it too high? I think I can build in the water. Yes, I can. All right, what if I get rid of that? I don't, I don't think that's a great idea. I should probably, uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna add some more like this. There we go. Perfect. 
And now... What's wrong? Oh, there we go. I don't know what was wrong with it there. It's, it seemed like it didn't want to hit it until I actually came in contact with it. All right, there we go. Wedge two by four. By two. All right, so we got a two by two by two wedge corner here. Oh, it picked, the one, it picked that one up just fine. Oh, and by the way, the propellers, the underwater propellers now have a reverse function. They did not have a reverse function in the previous versions of the game, so that's super useful as well. All right, we dropped off that one. Now there's one more out in the ocean that I think I can access. And then I'm not too sure where I should be going. There's so many ways to go around this island. Like, all of this stuff has... I think we started at the middle of the map, so I can go in any direction, pretty much. Is this one gonna be easy? Oh, that one was super easy. All right, and more scrap is salvaged. All right, so I see something floating over here. I don't know if that is a piece of salvage or if that's something else. I'm assuming it's a piece of salvage, but I can't see it on the island yet. It's called Buoy Island. Oh, it's a, it's a buoyancy control device. That makes sense. Oh, look at the butterflies. All right, and what's this one over here? I can't actually see what it is. I wonder, I might be able to, I don't know if this is gonna be good or not, but I might be able to do two at the same time. This is a large paddle. All right, so if I got you right there, am I able to use the electromagnet to capture two objects simultaneously? Because this one is also a pretty small one. Let's see if this works. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't seem to work. All right, so what happens if I approach both of them? Wait a minute. Oh, okay. So by the looks of it, they can both attract something, but they can only stick to like one independent object at a time, at least so far. Yeah, there we go. Now I got two of them. All right, we got a ways to go back now. All right, it is getting dark out now. So let's see what happens if I drop off two at the same time. Large paddle unlocked and buoyancy control device unlocked. Excellent. Okay, so we have a lot of different directions to go. We, we started here. We could try to continue up north through these islands. We could try to go down south. There's like a lot of big land uh, down over there. You can see the smoke to where the teleport stations are. So I want you to drive where we're gonna go in the next episode. We have like the north area over there and we have the south area over there. Which way should I try to explore first in the next episode? I don't even know if I can get to each area to be honest. Like it looks, how am I supposed to get out of the water without like any type of ramp. I can't fly yet. There's obviously a lot more in this update that we're going to be discovering in future episodes, so I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. Let me know what your favorite part that is that you've seen so far. Who isn't going to say the electromagnet, to be honest? But I'm looking forward to your feedback. This is the biggest update that Trailmakers has seen probably in its history, so if you want to reminisce on the good old times of Trailmakers, go ahead and check out this playlist right here. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.